Hello everyone, I'm Sharon Tay. We want to update you on the stories we're working on tonight. This is CBSLA.com's The Rundown. Missouri lawmakers have passed anti-abortion legislation. Once signed, it would make Missouri the fifth state this year to enact a so-called fetal heartbeat bill. It would ban abortions at eight weeks of pregnancy, even in cases of rape and incest. The only exception here is for medical emergencies. Women who have abortions would not be prosecuted, but doctors performing them would face up to 15 years in prison and could lose their medical licenses. A truck didn't stop as it rolled down a hill in Diamond Bar and it ended up inside a house on Stardust Drive. That truck was on a construction site, but when the driver got out, it kept going, knocked over a fire hydrant, and then hit the house. No one was hurt, but you can see all the damage to the house and an SUV there. Building and safety workers were called out to check out that house. The Internet's most famous feline died this week. Grumpy Cat was seven. Her owners announced her death this morning. They say she had an infection and did not recover. She died in the arms of her mom, Tabitha, on Tuesday. Grumpy Cat's Instagram account has more than two million followers. Well, speaking of animals, meet Scotty. He is the world's largest Tyrannosaurus Rex, and he's now on display at his new home in Regina, Canada. The CN T-Rex gallery opened on Friday to the public at the Royal Saskatchewan Museum. The famous dinosaur was found there in 1991. A study by University of Alberta paleontologists released earlier this year officially confirmed that Scotty as, is the world's biggest T-Rex. And now here's Alex Biston with a check of your weather. Yeah, Sharon, we are expecting more rain to Southern California, but for Saturday, looking like we are going to stay dry. So here's a look at Futurecast as we head into Saturday night. That's when we'll start to see that rain across Southern California. The bulk of the rain is going to be falling overnight Saturday into Sunday morning, and then it looks like by Sunday afternoon we should dry up. We'll see a few uh, showers over the mountains as well as the high deserts. But uh, for the most part, again, the bulk of that rain is going to fall as we head into Saturday night and into Sunday. So look at the extended forecast here. Wet weekend for the second half of the weekend. Looks like we dry out by Monday. Then we're tracking another chance of rain as we head into Tuesday and then we'll dry out by the end of next week. Back to you. All right, Alex, thank you. Join us at CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11 for the latest on your weather forecast and all of our top stories. This has been CBSLA.com's The Rundown. For Alex Biston, I'm Sharon Tay. Have a great evening, everyone.